trigonometric equations. Uh, here we will be finding principal solutions for trigonometric equations. Let's recall few results which we require to solve trigonometric equations. First of all, we will have to recall standard unit circle. Standard unit circle is a circle whose center is at the origin and radius is equal to 1 unit. When ray OP makes angle theta with the x axis, coordinates of P x comma y are nothing but cos theta sin theta. So when we consider standard unit circle, coordinates of A will be 1 comma 0 because radius is 1 unit and this point is on the x axis so its y coordinate is 0. So this point is 1 0, this is 0 1. This one is minus 1, 0 and this is 0, comma, minus 1. Point A corresponds to angle 0. So ratios for 0 we get it from coordinates of A. Ratios for pi by 2 we get it from coordinates of B. For pi we get it from coordinates of A dash. This will be point corresponding to 3 pi by 2. This angle is 3 pi by 2 and one complete rotation that means 360 degrees is again point A with coordinates 1, 0. Further we know that x axis and y axis divides the plane into four parts. These are called as quadrants. So we have first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive. Second quadrant sign is positive that means cosec has to be positive, third quadrant tan and cot positive and fourth quadrant cos and sec positive. Further we also know that sin theta and cos theta lie between minus 1 and 1. So maximum value for sin theta is plus 1, minimum is minus 1, same is true for cos. Next. We will also require some allied angle formulas like for sin we require sin of pi minus theta. Sin of pi minus theta now angle is in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant sin is positive so we get sin theta. Next we require sin of pi plus theta. Now pi plus theta means angle is in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant the sine ratio is negative so we have minus of sine theta. Then when we consider sine of 2 pi minus theta now angle is in the fourth quadrant so again here you will have minus sine theta. Similar results we will consider for cos cos of pi minus theta cos pi minus theta angle is in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so here we get minus cos theta then cos of pi plus theta will be again minus cos theta and cos of 2 pi minus theta will be equal to now angle is in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant cos is positive so you get cos theta. So we require these results to solve trigonometric equations. Now let's solve equation sin square x or sin square theta minus 3 sin theta plus 2 equal to 0. So we are continuing with this example which we have discussed in the previous video. Sin square theta minus 3 sin theta plus 2 is equal to 0. Here we can factorize. So we get two factors sin theta minus 2 and sin theta minus 1. Therefore sin theta is equal to 2 
or we get sin theta is equal to plus 1. Since sin theta always lies between minus 1 and 1, therefore, we cannot consider this value sin theta is equal to 2 is not possible. When sin theta is 1, sin of which angle is 1? Sin of pi by 2 is 1. So here we get theta is equal to pi by 2. We want to find principal solution. So we'll have to check whether this value lies in the interval. Which interval? It should lie in the interval. So since pi by 2 belongs to the interval 0 to 2 pi, therefore theta is equal to pi by 2 is the principal solution of the given equation. Example number 2. Find principal solution for the equation cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. Principal solution we want to find that means theta should be between 0 to 2 pi. Now cos theta is given as 1 by 2. It's a positive value. So cos theta is positive. In which quadrant cos is positive? It is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. Cos is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. Also we know that cos of which angle is half? So we know that cos of pi by 3 is equal to half. Now using all this we want to solve this equation. Let's consider standard unit circle. Let's consider this array OP which makes angle. Now this particular angle is pi by 3 it makes with the x-axis is there any other value possible it is possible because cos is positive either in the first quadrant or in the fourth quadrant so we can consider this particular angle and also the angle even this is possible so let's say P1 here and P2 here. So these are the two possibilities. Now how much is this angle? So theta is equal to pi by 3 is one of the possibilities. And the second possibility is this particular angle. So how much is this? This is nothing but now this is nothing but 2 pi minus pi by 3. This angle is 2 pi minus pi by 3. Therefore, theta is equal to pi by 3. And what is the second possibility? 5 pi by 3. So, theta can be pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Check whether both these angles lies in the required interval. That is between 0 to 2 pi. Since pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 belongs to the interval 0 to 2 pi. So we can say that principal solution for the given equation principal solutions for the given equation are pi by 3 from a 5 pi by 3. Next problem. Now sec theta is equal to, we want to solve sec theta is equal to 2 upon root 3. 
again sec is positive is positive in which quadrant sec means 1 upon cos so sec is positive in the first and fourth quadrant and we also know that sec of which angle is 2 pi by 3 so sec of pi by 6 is equal to 2 by root 3 if you want you may convert it into cos and then you can proceed sec theta is 2 by root 3 that means cos theta is root 3 by 2 and then you can proceed So in this case, what are the possibilities? So when you consider standard unit circle, then we can have this as one of the possibilities where this angle is pi by 6 and the other possibility is so again we have point P1 or point P2 right so OP1 makes angle pi by 6 and OP2 makes angle now the second angle is 2 pi minus pi by 6 so possible values for theta in this case are so theta is equal to pi by 6 and second value is 2 pi minus pi by 6 Therefore, theta is equal to pi by 6 and second value is 11 pi by 6. And you, we know that both these values lies in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, principal solution, since both these values belong to the interval 0 to 2 pi, therefore, principal solution for the given equation principal solutions for the given equation are pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6. Next example. Solve cot theta is equal to 0. Now cot theta is 0. Let's draw standard unit circle. Radius is 1 unit. These are the points we consider A, A dash on the x axis and B, B dash on the y axis. So points on the y axis are 0, 1 and 0, minus 1. Cot theta, we know that cot theta is cos theta upon sin theta. So at these points, you are going to have cos upon sin so at these points you are going to have cot theta value 0. So what are the possibilities for theta here? So theta is equal to, now when you consider ray OB, ray OB makes angle. So how much is this angle? This angle is pi by 2 radians. Or second possibility is this angle. This angle is 3 pi by 2 radians. So theta in this case is possible value for theta is theta here is either pi by 2 or the second possibility is 3 pi by 2. Since both pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 belongs to the interval 0 to 2 pi Therefore, principal solution for the given equation, principal solutions for the given equation are pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So, we have found principal solutions for few trigonometric equations.